In the third, Pete Rose works Blue Moon Odom for a walk with two down. Rose pressures Gene Tennis into a throwing error and gallops on the third. But Dick Green comes to the rescue on Joe Morgan's bid for a base hit. In the fifth, the Reds continue to run on tennis as Geronimo takes off. But Odom strikes out the side to maintain the scoreless tie. Odom has a one hitter after six, but Tony Perez opens the seventh with a single. Menke sacrifices Perez to second, setting the scene for the most unusual play of the series. Cesar Geronimo singles to center. And Tony Perez heads for home. Perez scores in spite of that king-size flop between third and home. And the replay shows what happened. Geronimo's hit is slowed down by the wet outfield grass. Center fielder George Henry picks it up, makes that casual underhand throw into Campy Caponeris just as Perez hit the deck. Caponeris back to the plate, misses the opportunity to cash in on Perez's misfortune. Yeah, I, don't, I don't see Perez fall down, so... I don't hear anybody to say anything, so I don't know what I throw. The Perez keeper gives the Reds their first lead of the series, one to nothing, in game three. Vita Blue relieves Blue Moon Odom and faces Pete Rose in the eighth. And Dick Green chocks up his second brilliant fielding play of the night. Bobby Tolan singles following a walk to Joe Morgan. And Raleigh Fingers makes his third series appearance. Tolan steals second without drawing a throw. And that brings Dick Williams out of the dugout for one of his frequent strategy sessions. Raleigh Fingers reveals the substance of the discussion. He pointed to the on-deck circle. He pointed to first base as if we were, we were going to walk him. And he told me we were going to uh, have Gino stand up. And uh, it looked like it was going to be an intentional walk. And then Gino would jump back down into the catcher's box. And uh, we pitched to him. Uh, Williams, he wanted me to throw a break and pitch, and he specifically said throw a slider and not a fastball. We threw a slider on the outside part of the plate for a call strike three. Johnny Bench talks about the ploy from his point of view. Just as uh, fingers went into the windup or into his stretch, uh, I heard Joe Hollard be alert. So I got halfway ready, and he just made a great pitch on me. An Academy Award performance strikes out Bench, but the A's are still scoreless in the bottom of the ninth. And Clay Carroll methodically wraps up Billingham's shutout package and the Cincinnati Reds win game three in Oakland. <laughs> <laughs>